So for the past four years or so now, I've had this really intricate story written out, mostly in my head about my own fan clans. However, I only really focused on fleshing out my main clan, which I've designed and developed all of the cats for already. But what I've been neglecting is my other three clans, and this generator gave me the opportunity to fill in some spots, and I figured it would be fun to do. So I introduce you to Oak Clan, previously known as Valley Clan. I may just keep the name as Valley Clan because it fits a little bit into the story more, but in terms of staying true to the generator, we're going to call it Oak Clan. Just a little bit of backstory so things don't get really confusing. Each clan, Fog Clan, Ripple Clan, Fledge Clan, and Valley slash Oak Clan, they used to live in a valley between two mountains. The land was split in two by a river that provided plenty of prey year round. One rainy season, the Great Flood happened and wiped out most of their territory, dwindling the clan's numbers greatly. Those who survived sought out new land, and that's where the clans currently live. I even made a little family tree chart to help map out everyone's relations based on their fur color. I kind of went a little bit too in-depth, but... Starting off with our leader, Yellowstar. Formerly Yellowgaze, Yellowstar is a fearless and tactical leader with the battle scars to prove it. Yellowstar is a long-haired, black and red, mackerel, tortoiseshell she-cat with yellow eyes. She led her clan out of the valley after the Great Flood happened, keeping most of her entire clan alive. One of the cats lost, however, was her previous mentor. She swore from then on that she wouldn't lose another life from another natural disaster ever again. She is constantly on edge and sends out extra patrols each day to ease her anxiety. She worries too much about everyone and just about everything that goes on, but is too ashamed to tell any other cat. Her mate is Crowstorm, who was her crutch after all the disaster struck. I struggled a little bit with her design since I had to google what a mackerel tabby is, but I think I got pretty close to what it's supposed to look like. Regardless, her pattern is probably one of my favorites out of all of the ones I've designed. The side of her face that isn't shown is all black as well. I'm kind of glad her eye color was yellow, otherwise the warrior name Yellow Gaze would have been absolutely pointless. The deputy of the clan is Hornet Whisker. Hornet Whisker is a red spotted pseudo tabby tom with short fur and green eyes. His assertive tone and persuasiveness often lands him in scuttles with other cats. However, he is the reason his clan stuck together in the end. He believes he has authority over everything that happens and even tries to have a say in what Yellowstar decides for the clan. Though he may seem pushy, his heart is always in the right place. He just doesn't really know how to say it. He also loves organizing patrols and is always itching to find something new to report to Yellowstar. His prefix was partially based on his color as well as the spunky attitude he had from when he was a kitten. Looking at his description for the first time, I had no idea what a pseudo tabby was, so I also had to Google that. So I kind of winged it and made him have really light stripes that kind of blended into his coat pattern. The medicine cat is Gorse Stone. Gorse Stone is described as a short-haired, cream-ticked tabby tom with yellow eyes. I made him a little on the short and stubby side. I thought it would be really cute to have the runt of the litter be the medicine cat. His short legs definitely make traveling a pain sometimes, but he makes up for it in healing skills. He's the brother of Hornet Whisker. His family lineage was always intriguing to him since their father wasn't exactly in the clan, but he never got information or closure about who it was. Unlike his brother, Gorestone always thought it was incredibly cool that medicine cats could communicate with the clan's ancestors. That's what sparked his interest in it. The previous medicine cat who trained him got swept away in the flood. He believes he's still alive, justifying it by the lack of visits he gets in his dreams from the previous medicine cat. His design was supposed to be based on a tick tabby, which I also had to Google. So he only has stripes on his ears and his tail and his lower legs. It's a really interesting coat pattern. He's also based on a British short hair cat. So imagine the little short ears and the chubby little face. Moving on to the warriors. Crowstorm is a short haired black mackerel tabby tom with amber eyes. Crowstorm was named after his mother, Crowfang, which we'll discuss a little bit later, after she had complications with her litter. He was the first born out of three, and he was a fighter from day one. He'd always been kind-natured and full of energy. He likes to take charge of hunting patrols, and he was part of the group that set out early to find the new land after the flood. I thought it would be interesting to make him polydactyl, which is basically where cats have thumbs. Some cats can have it on all four paws, but he has it only on his front ones, and unlike most of the clan cats, Crowstorm likes going out in the rain and hunting. He likes the smell of the forest after a fresh downpour. I'm also guilty of having to look up what a black mackerel tabby looked like, but I think their dark stripes are pretty cool. Soot Cloud. 
He's a black Tom with short fur and green eyes. I didn't really have much to go off of with that, so I just kind of winged it. So Cloud was the last born of the litter. He sadly is not polydactyl like his brother, but he has other issues with his speech due to the complications their mother had. He has trouble talking at times due to a tightness in his throat, unable to raise his voice sometimes. He considers himself a selective mute. He's always been a cat a few words anyway, despite the fact that he has an issue with his throat. He quietly observes his surrounding and he's a great strategist when the time comes, often thinking outside of the box. Crowstorm and Sootcloud's brother, Onyxly, passed away not too long after becoming a warrior alongside them. I always struggle with making pure black fur on cats because I want to make them just as unique as the other designs, but there's not really much you can do without turning a black cat into a tuxedo. I also wanted him to look different from his brother, so I based him on an oriental short hair cat. Fennel fur is a short-haired, cream-spotted tabby tom with copper eyes. Fennel fur in his younger days was a very talkative and social cat. He was really popular at gatherings and he also sometimes fibbed about the things he did or didn't do just for kitty clout. He had several cross-clan relationships, one while he was still a late apprentice and the other several moons after becoming a warrior. Both times he decided the risk wasn't worth it after losing interest and in sneaking out at night and constantly getting caught. He's the oldest out of all the warriors alongside his mate, Sandstone. Sandstone is a short-haired black and red mackerel tortoiseshell tabby she-cat with amber eyes. Sandstone is Yellowstar's sister. She decided to become a permanent queen after having her first litter with Fennelford. She felt she did a much better job at taking care of kits than anything else, especially after everyone began praising her on how the whole nursery was just about in love with her. She was super good with the kits. She also has vision that keeps getting worse as time goes on, and she felt she'd also be better taking care of the camp when there aren't kits than going out and like accidentally hurting herself or something because of her vision. She likes changing the bedding, building on shelters, making them waterproof, removing pointy stones, all that good stuff. She's a mother figure to just about everybody in camp, and a lot of other cats go to her to talk about their problems. Moving on to the apprentices. First is Stormfoot, Spiderpaw, and Beepaw. They're the kits of Yellowstar and Crowstorm. Stormfoot is a short-haired blue she-cat with copper eyes. Previously Stormpaw, Stormfoot was advanced to a warrior after risking her life against a bear who was cornering a queen and her kits, even after she knew that they were long gone. She eventually led the bear away from the camp after many failed attempts by other senior warriors. Her bravery and quick thinking earned her her warrior name early. Her suffix foot was in respects to her standing her ground and not budging against the really big angry bear. Due to the severity of her injuries, she permanently lives in the Elder's Den and takes care of them. Her previous mentor was Onyx Leap, who sadly passed in the bear attack. Spiderpaw is a black tom with short fur and copper eyes, and Beepaw is a short-haired red mackerel pseudo-tabby tom with hazel eyes. Spiderpaw out of the entire clan has to be my absolute favorite. He's named after his extra toe beans that his father Crowstorm passed on to him. He's polydactyl on all four feet and he's super clumsy. So when he first started training, he would trip over his big old bappers a lot and he was also super dirty all the time from falling. He's also super carefree and ditzy. Spiderpaw's mentor is Soot Cloud. Beepaw excels over his brother in just about every aspect other than making friends. His large size compared to the other apprentices makes him a rather intimidating opponent. His exclusion from training sometimes gets to him and he feels like he has to hold himself back just to be seen as friendly. But on the other side, he's also pretty hot-headed and he likes to go off on his mentor, Hornet Whisker, who is equally as snippy and rude. At gatherings, he's often mistaken as being related to Hornet Whisker despite there being no relation in their lineage, mainly because the two of them share similar coat patterns and prefixes are both angry bugs. A few moons older than Spiderpaw, Beepaw, and Stormfoot is Chantrellepaw and Fennelpaw. I got super excited when the generator gave me both of their names since fennel is my favorite herb and chanterelles are my favorite mushrooms to forage. Fennelpaw is a sparse-haired black and red mackerel tortoiseshell she-cat with yellow eyes. Fennelpaw is training to be a medicine cat apprentice. She never liked the idea of taking on a mate and having a family, battling other cats, or patrolling all day. She took interest in herbs when she was a really young kit, drawn to some of the sweeter smelling herbs such as mint and lavender. After realizing that she was too afraid to be a warrior, Gorestone took her under his wing. Stormfoot's injuries were great practice for her. She would see to her bandages several times a day and got very good at wrapping limbs. In the process, the two of them became inseparable. Sometimes when she's feeling up to it, Stormfoot even helps Fennelpaw go out to collect herbs. Her mother Sandstone ended up passing her really bad vision onto her, so sometimes she can't see super great. Chantrelle Paw is a cream mackerel tabby she-cat with short fur and copper eyes. 
Chantrelle Paul constantly brags about the amazing, exciting adventures she gets to go on as an apprentice to her sister. She thinks being trapped in camp sorting leaves all day is the most boring thing in the world. Her boasting doesn't really get to Fennel Paul, she just kind of sees it as more amusing than anything. At gatherings, she's a social butterfly and wants to know what clan life is outside of her own. Chantrelle Paul's mentor is Crow Storm. And the last two apprentices are Lark Paw and Evening Paw. Evening Paw is a short haired, caramel and apricot spotted tortoiseshell tabby she cat with copper eyes. Evening Paw lacks the confidence to fight well, but she excels in hunting and patrolling. She's often jealous of her sister Lark Paw, wishing she had the skill and energy that she did. She's a total night owl and is the primary cat who volunteers herself for night patrols and keeping guard of the camp. I wasn't a huge fan of Evening as a prefix since there aren't a lot of warrior names that sounded super great with Evening, but Evening Bree sounded pretty nice. Evening Paw's mentor is Fennel Fur. Hoo hoo, moving on to Lark Paw. I think personality wise, she's my favorite out of all of the apprentices. Lark Paw is a short haired white she cat with chocolate and red mackerel, calico tabby tail and ears, and blue eyes. That is a mouthful. Lark Paw is a wildly energetic cat. Sleep means absolutely nothing to her, and rules won't keep her from exploring outside of camp when she's definitely not supposed to. Her mind goes just about a tree length a minute. Her and Bee Paw often train together since she's the only one with enough drive to fight another cat larger than her. She often challenges him and other senior warriors out of absolutely nowhere. She's also mouthy and rude to the other apprentices, nipping them a bit too hard during training or purposely ruining another cat's hunt just to steal the thunder. She's an absolutely wild character and she has to learn a really hard lesson before becoming a warrior. And that's how to hold her tongue in just about every situation. Larkpar's mentor is their leader, Yellowstar, who's the only cat capable of putting her in her place. And lastly, moving on to the elders, the only two who survived the flood, Heatherface and Crowfang. Crowfang is a black and red mackerel calico she-cat with short fur and gold eyes. Out of the two elders, Crowfang was the most recent to join the elders. She had fighting spirit for many, many moons. She's the mother to Crowstorm, Soot Cloud, and Onyx Leap. Her mate had been killed by a wild mountain cat attack when they were still super young and living in the valley, just as she was having her first litter. Heartbroken, she became bitter and cold to the rest of her clan and just about anybody who tried talking to her. She stood like a stone wall. She was also the previous leader before Yellowstar. Just her old age caught up to her. The only other cat to get her to open up moons and moons after the event was Heatherface's warm and biting personality. Heatherface is a red mackerel pseudo tabby she cat with short fur and amber eyes. Heatherface's half-clan not originally being born in her current clan, she was originally born in Ripple Clan and after a bunch of stuff that I haven't figured out yet happened, um, she wound up at six moons old after being a rogue in the middle of Oak Clan's territory. And they just kind of like, hey, I mean, if you hunt for us and prove your loyalty, you can definitely join us because you're just a child. She's a super skilled hunter and can track down any prey she sees, even in her old age. She's the mother of Hornet Whisker and Gorestone, who she had in a quick fling with a rogue. And here's everyone together. This was definitely challenging and I had to look up a lot of different things about what these specific cats are supposed to look like. And I think I got it as close as I possibly can, but all in all, this was really fun. <clears throat> My cats probably think I'm insane. She's often jealous of her sister Wark. Mm -hmm. She's often cyst. Due to the severity of her injury, she's. Per Due to the severity of her injury, she's permanent. I'm gonna end my life because I cannot read to save my life. <sighs> so for the <laughs> Spider Paw's mentor is Hor. Wow, I cannot speak. Spider Paw's mentor is Hornet Whisker. No, it's not. He's also pretty hot-headed, and he likes to go off on his mentor, Hornet. I'm- ah!